Well, it's about uh, 12.30 a.m. on uh, Thursday morning. And uh, just finished cleaning up these knives that I showed earlier on Wednesday. My Peddler Small finds a Rough Rider and an old Ideal knife. And... Uh, these really amazed me at how well they turned out, especially the little Barlow. And uh, if you haven't seen the before video, uh, you should go check that out and see what these knives look like before I cleaned them up. I'll show this Rough Rider first. This is a model 886. Smooth bone handles. And uh, this just cleaned up really, really nicely. Let's see if I can adjust this light a little bit here. And this blade was in really rough shape. It's still not the greatest, but uh, I think it looks whole lot better now than it did earlier. Bolsters cleaned up really well. And if the light will cooperate, you can see on the tang here, maybe. Uh, it's almost worn off but it says China and RR 886 it has a cool acorn shield with a double R stamped in it Cleaned up nicely down inside. See if I can get it to reflect a little bit there. There we go. Cleaned up really nicely. I'm really pleased with how it turned out. Rough Rider logo. This knife here, this Ideal Barlow, I think is probably the dirtiest knife that I have ever encountered. This turned out to be quite a challenge. I don't know what was inside this knife, but it was just filthy. But this little thing cleaned up amazingly well. And these blades are just eat up with something. I don't know what this knife was exposed to, but these blades have a lot of damage done to them. <clears throat> but I think they look pretty cool. They almost look like a Damascus <clears throat> excuse me and there's that uh, stamp that says the ideal USA and of course these have the crimped on covers sharpened it up I didn't sharpen the uh, Rough Rider. It wasn't in too bad a condition. I'm going to put some fresh edges on these blades. 
this blade here is interesting. I've noticed on uh, ideal knives that uh, I don't know if they all just have a single bevel but this one and a lot of them do just have a single bevel. This blade here is just flat on this side with the bevel on this side. This blade right here is sharp enough to shave you now. And let's see if we can see how this one looks down inside. Looks much better than it did before. It was full of some kind of gooey brown muck that took forever to clean out. These covers turned out nicely. Turned out to be a pretty cool little knife. And these blades, you've got to watch them, boy. They got super snap. Now, Terry, I want to ask you, buddy. Don't that purdy Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, leave me some comments.